students today we are going to do quadratic equations exercise 4.2 the first question is find the roots of the following quadratic equations by factorization x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 if we compare it with a regular quadratic equation here a is 1 that is the coefficient of x square b is minus 3 and c the constant term is minus 10 Whenever a is equal to 1, then we focus to find the factors of the constant, which is minus 10 in this case. So minus 10, we can have factors like 10 and 1, 5 and 2 and so on. We look for the middle term. The factors of minus 10 should be such that they should add or subtract to give us minus 3. So if we take minus 5 and 2, the product will be minus 10 and minus 5 plus 2 will give us minus 3x. So we are going to write x square. The middle term is written as minus 5x plus 2x minus 10 is equal to 0. Taking x common, x minus 5 plus taking 2 common from the next two terms, it also gives x minus 5 equal to 0. Taking x minus 5 as common, is left is x plus 2 is equal to 0. So either x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x equal to 5 or x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x equal to minus 2. So x equal to 5 and minus 2 are the two roots of this equation. Second question 2x square plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now in this case a is equal to 2, b is equal to 1 and c is equal to minus 6. Whenever a is not equal to 1, we have to look for the factors of a multiplied by c. That means we have to look for two numbers whose product is 2 into minus 6 that is minus 12. We multiply a c. And the product should be minus 12 and the numbers should add or subtract to give us the middle term which is 1x. So in this case we can take 4 and 3, 4 and minus 3. So 2x square the middle term can be written as 4x minus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. Taking 2x common will be left with x plus 2. And taking minus 3 common in the next two terms, we get x plus 2 equal to 0. x plus 2 is common and we have 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So either x plus 2 is equal to 0 or 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. x is minus 2 or 2x is equal to 3, x is equal to 3 by 2. So here the two roots that we are getting are minus 2 and 3 by 2. Third question. Root 2x square plus 7x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0. In this case, a is equal to root 2, b is equal to 7 and c is equal to 5 root 2. As a is not equal to 1, we will multiply AC, that is 5 into root 2 into root 2 is 2. So we are looking for two numbers whose product is 10 and who should give us the middle term 7. So we can take 5x and 2x. Root 2x square, 7x is split as 5x plus 2x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0. In the first two term, x can be taken as common. We are left with root 2x plus 5 plus. Now we should take something common so that the next bracket also contains root 2x plus 5. So if I take root 2 as common in the next two term, we know that root 2 into root 2 is 2. So we will have root 2x inside plus 5. So we have our common bracket ready. Root 2x plus 5 
multiplied with x plus root 2. So either root 2 x plus 5 is equal to 0 or x plus root 2 is equal to 0. Root 2 x is equal to minus 5 or x is equal to minus 5 by root 2. Here we have x is equal to minus root 2. So the two roots are minus 5 by root 2 and minus root 2. Fourth question. 2x square minus x plus 1 by 8 is equal to 0. Now in this case there is a fraction number. a is 2 here, b is minus 1 and c is 1 by 8. So what we can do is instead of taking it in fractions we can actually take a common denominator 8 and multiply with 8 throughout. So the equation now becomes 16x square minus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0 as 8 from here will go and multiply with 0. So now this is our equation 16x square minus 8x plus 1 equal to 0. Or we would have just simply multiplied both sides with 8 to get this in one step. Now we have a as 16, b as minus 8 and c as 1. So the product of a and c 16. We have to look for factors of 16 in such a way that the middle term should come minus 8x. So I can take minus 4 and minus 4. 16x square minus 8x is split as minus 4x minus 4x plus 1 equal to 0. Taking 4x common, be left with 4x minus 1. Now in the next two terms, I can just take minus 1 as common so that I can get 4x minus 1 in the next bracket. 4x minus 1 multiplied with 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. So 4x minus 1 is 0 or again 4x minus 1 is 0. 4x is equal to 1. x is equal to 1 by 4. And this is again coming the same thing. So 4x is equal to 1. x is coming as 1 by 4. In this case, both the solutions of this equation or the roots are equal. 1 by 4 and 1 by 4. Fifth question. 100x square minus 20x plus 1 is equal to 0. A is 100 here. B is minus 20 and C is 1. So the product of A and C is 100. We have to look for factors of 100 which should give us the middle term as minus 20. So I can split minus 20 as minus 10x and minus 10x. 100x square minus 10x minus 10x plus 1 is equal to 0. Taking 10x as common, we left with 10x minus 1 minus 1 into 10x minus 1 equal to 0. 10x minus 1 into 10x minus 1 is equal to 0. So either this is 0 or 10x minus 1 is 0. 10x is 1 or x is equal to 1 by 10 or 10x is equal to 1, x is equal to 1 by 10. Again in this question also we are getting two equal roots both of them as 1 by 10. Please like, subscribe and share if you like the video. Thank you.